what happens after? What well, will we get closer, or will I feel like I just made a big mistake? Um, the morning after usually refers to like the day after or the night after people have sex. So it depends on your partners and how your relationship is with each other, like what happens afterwards. My question is, uh, what if my partner doesn't want to use condoms? Many people use the motto, safe sex or no sex. While this is not a bad way to look at it, um, use condoms. Like, using condoms is not for everyone, or like, consent is not for everyone to begin with either. So, like, can you repeat the question? Okay, what if my partner doesn't want to use condoms? Yeah, like, well, then it goes into consent. Like, you don't feel comfortable, you shouldn't have to, like, deal with that. Next question. Um, can you get pregnant from pregnant? <laughs> um, the question, can you get pregnant off a of pre-cum? Yes, you can, but it's very, it's a very low chance that you can. Um, there may be birth effects because of it, but that also goes into other statistics. So yes, you can. you next, my bud. Does adolescents under 18 need a parental no. consent for testing and treatment of SDS? No, the DC law clearly states that uh, adolescents may seek and obtain uh, medical testing and treatments without parents' consent. So what is the appropriate age for females to um, receive birth control? Awesome. It can be as early as the age of 15. I recommend the age of 17 because you shouldn't be sexually active at the age of 15, but it happens. So birth control, depending on your parents, you shouldn't feel uncomfortable to ask. Because safe sex is better than sex just off the window. And it's better, to know, it's better to let your parents know that you're having sex so they, it's not that an unexpected twist or like they just um, they stop trusting you it's a good relationship okay, so next. my partner is pressuring me to take drugs or get drunk before we have sex what should I do what should I say alcohol and drugs do not make sex better alcohol and drugs affect the way that you're feeling but um, but they do not make it better nor does it make it okay for that like for you to have sex like that like I said, uh, consent is a, is a huge issue within our, our age demographics, well, like any age demographics to begin with. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, you should be honest with your partner and tell them, like, no. And if, if they keep trying to do that, it's a toxic relationship and you cut that person off. What is pre-cum? Pre-cum is a, bo a bodily fluid that frequently comes out the penis. Um, there are small amounts of sperm that may be able to, to escape from it, and you could get pregnant off of it. Like, we have another question. Uh, that is pretty common. And sometimes the male doesn't even know that, that it happens during sexual intercourse. And what is the average age to have sexual intercourse? Uh, right. There is no certain age for, um, for sexual intercourse. There is an age for consent, but that's not the age for sexual intercourse. Sexual intercourse is like uh, the body and, body and law does not go hand in hand. So the age technically is when the woman gets her first period. But for the, in the United States, it's 17, and actually the average age in the United States is 17. Yes, it is. Well, in Texas, it's 17. Average is Not in every state. Not in every city, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's whenever you feel right, whenever the moment's right, whatever person at the right time, that's, that's um, it's whenever you feel comfortable is the best answer. Are STDs deadly? Certain STDs can sometimes be fatal. Although bacterial infections are uh, curable, some bacterial infections can kill if not treated. Is sex still okay without my consent? No. No, it is not. It's not okay. Uh, consent, it can lead to later things down the line, like if you didn't want it, there's unwanted pregnancies, or you're, not with, you're with this partner for the rest of your life. Not only that, um, it can lead to psychological issues. Um, it's illegal, first of all. <laughs> uh, it can land you in a lot of trouble, and you don't want to deal with that. If you don't want to, if you don't want to have sex, you don't want to have sex. It's just it. Okay, I have a follow-up question. All right, so I know people focus more on, on the female side, not you know giving consent to the to the male. But does it work the other way around? Yes. Do, do males have laws to protect them? Mm -hmm. uh, Same laws. Yes, there's the uh, you have the um, there's no law that applies to gender. That's the thing. That's, that's that's state laws, but federal law it treats everyone as equals. So in federal law it says that you know, sex without consent that's considered rape, at the moment. 
Now, if you have sex and then the night, the next night she, she complains or the dude complains like, I didn't want it, that's no, because you gave consent that night. I guess I kind of know the answer, but is sex, was sex created, is, is sex for pleasure or for making kids? Um, it's, for, it's, it's, for, it's for making kids and because it's for making kids, then it's made to be pleasurable. Because you want it, you want it to be a desirable thing to do. Yeah. So nature designed it to be pleasurable, so you do it more often, so, so you procreate. Can I ask that? Yeah, like, uh, like, um, where's it asked? Biologically, it's for making kids, but for your own personal, <laughs> your own personal <laughs> thing and stuff, like, it could be like, you know, Yo, for, smile, man, for pleasure. We are one yeah, of we are, for me, man. We, we are we are we are only one of two species of remember cricket that actually have sex for pleasure. Yeah, and then like not only that because there's 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 homosexuals and stuff like that. So like they're having sex and it's not for, for yeah, it's for, not for making babies. It's for pleasure. Like sex should be for whatever reason you want it to be. Yeah. yeah. So uh, to give you a summary of our sex educational class, Mr. Sandifer. We are, we are truly, uh, Dr. Sanford, let me get that correct, we're truly grateful today that uh, all our classmates came together and showed unity and uh, showed growth and today we've learned that in sex there's things a lot of us thought that we did know but thanks to all the information that everybody and our sister Samantha, that I mean our friend Samantha that has dug up some great questions that put together and we're able to uh, get it all done so I want to I want to give a big push up to all the class and all the ones that need that did attend but had to go back to school and uh, thank you for your sex education have a, sex, have a sexy day <laughs>